Hello, I pray that you are well today. We continue in 1 Timothy chapter 5. Let me say on this day, in particular as we begin, we acknowledge those who serve our country and continue to serve our country, and those who have given the ultimate sacrifice for our freedom. We are grateful and we certainly pray for their families. The scripture for today is 1 Timothy chapter 5. Do not rebuke an older man harshly, but exhort him as if he were your father. Treat younger men as brothers, older women as mothers, younger women as sisters with absolute purity. How we treat each other matters. How we look at one another is the nature of our life. I would say to you that if you really want to evaluate life, it's how we treat one another. Give proper recognition to those widows who are really in need. But if a widow has children or grandchildren, these should learn first of all to put their religion into practice by caring for their own family and so repaying their parents and grandparents for this is pleasing to God. In other words, our families, we are responsible one for another, that we, this is pleasing to God. The widow who is really in need and is left all alone puts her hope in God and continues night and day to pray to ask God for help. But the widow who lives for pleasure is dead even while she lives. Give the, pers give the people these instructions so that no one may be open to blame. In other words, we have to be told what our responsibilities are and our expectations are so no one is to blame. Anyone who does not provide for their relatives, and especially for their own household, has denied the faith and is worse than an unbeliever. That is a strong statement. In other words, there are relationships that are we are responsible for because God has said so. And if we deny them, we've denied the faith and we're worse than an unbeliever. No widow may be put on the list of widows unless she's over 60, has been faithful to her husband and is well known for her good deeds, such as bringing up children, showing hospitality, washing the feet of the Lord's people, helping those in trouble, and devoting herself to all kinds of good deeds. For younger widows, do not put them on such a list. For when their sensual desires overcome their dedication to Christ, they want to marry. Thus they bring judgment on themselves because they have broken their first pledge. Besides, when they get into the habit of being idle and going about from house to house, not only become idlers, but also busybodies, busybodies who talk nonsense, saying things that they should ought not to. So I counsel the younger widows to marry, to have children, to manage their homes, and to give the enemy no opportunity for slander. Some have, in fact, already turned away to follow Satan. If any woman who is a believer has a widows in her care, she should continue to help them and not let the church be burdened with them so the church can help those widows who really are in need. Elders, who direct the affairs of the church are worthy of double honor, especially those whose work is preaching and teaching. For the scripture says, do not muzzle an ox while it is treading out the grain, and a worker deserves his wages. Do not entertain an accusation against an elder unless it's brought by two or three witnesses. But those elders who are sinning, you are to reprove before any, everyone that others may take a warning. I charge you in the sight of God and his church, Christ Jesus and the elect angels, to keep these instructions without partiality and do nothing without favoritism. Again, how we treat each other in many relationships matter. How we fulfill our obligations in many relationships matter. On this day, we wanna pray for our country we want to pray for ourselves. We especially want to pray for families who've offered the ultimate sacrifice. Lord God, we thank you for your mercy. We thank you for your grace. We pray for your strength. We pray for this nation. We thank you for those who have given the sacrifice that we might have freedom. We pray that we may live in the relationships we have in the fullness of our responsibility, that we may fulfill our duty and that we may fulfill our love one to another. This we ask in Christ's name, amen. God bless you today.